And his final column for the Washington Post, Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi had one last rebuke for the autocrats responsible for his execution. His plea titled, What the Arab World Needs Most is Free Expression, ran 15 days after his disappearance, torture, and brutal dismemberment at the hands of the Saudi monarchy, just the latest act of violence and suppression from the Arab nation and its new leader, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who met with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo last week. As we speak today, there are Saudi intellectuals and journalists jailed. Now nobody will dare to speak and criticize Except that man, Khashoggi, of course, who ultimately fled to the United States to continue writing about the struggle for freedom and democracy in his home country. Last September, he wrote, I have left my home, my family, and my job, and I am raising my voice. To do otherwise would betray those who languish in prison. I can speak when so many cannot. And speak he did. Despite lavish praise for the crown prince from the United States and Mohammed bin Salman's reformer reputation, Khashoggi was an unrelenting critic. But he is gathering all power within his hand. And it would be much better for him to allow a breathing space for critic, for uh, Saudi intellectuals, Saudi writers, Saudi media to debate uh, the most important needed transformation going in the country. In a conversation with some of his Washington Post colleagues, including Jason Rezaian, who, as you know, was in prison for 544 days in Iran, Khashoggi said this of Saudi Arabia. We are far away from democracy. Democracy in America and Finland and Denmark, it humbled the leaders. Our leaders, no, they see themselves as leaders who know best. And uh, people like uh, me and Jason, we are just hindering the process for their reform. In his final column, he said his ultimate hope was for the Arab world to one day provide a platform for Arab voices writing through the creation of an independent international forum isolated from the influence of nationalist governments spreading hate through propaganda. Ordinary people in the Arab world would be able to address the structural problems their societies face. We all know how Jamal Khashoggi died. This is just a small taste of how he lived.